Okay, so now June 2014 IAL C12. I'm going to answer question number 14, which is about this solid triangular prism, which AB is equal to 2x, CD is equal to L. The cross section ABC is an equilateral triangle. Okay, so a few things we can, we can just write down straight away. This is an equilateral triangle. That means all these three sides are the same. That's 2x, that's 2x, that's 2x. We also know that each of these angles are 60 degrees. Okay, all these angles are all 60 degrees. Okay. Um, and it says the rectangle BCDF is horizontal and the triangles ABC and DEF are vertical. Okay, so it's like a, it's a triangular prism. The total surface area of the prism is S square centimeters and the volume is V cubed centimeters. Show that S is equal to 2x squared times root 3 plus 6xL. Okay, that's the surface area. And now the surface area is made up of the two triangular faces at the front and the back. Okay, it's a solid prism, so there's there's some surface there, front and the back, plus the area of these three rectangles. Okay, you've got three rectangles here. Okay, now one of those rectangles, they're all equal, those rectangles, because they all have the same width and the same length. So let's, let's deal with the rectangles first. You've got three rectangles that are like this. That's 2x and that's L. So you have 3 times 2x times L. So you have 6 times x times L. That's the area of the, the, the rectangles. Then you've got these triangles. You've got two triangles. You know that the angle there is 60 degrees. And you know that the, the sides are 2x. So we can use the formula, the area of a triangle is equal to a half AB sine C. You know two sides and the angle between them, you can find the area of the triangle. So it's a half times, so you've got a half, well you've got two of them, so you've got two times a half, because there's two of these triangles, times 2x times 2x, it's 2x squared, right, because you're going to have AB is 2x times 2x is 2x squared times the sine of 60 degrees. Okay, because the angle between them is 60. Now that 2 will cancel with that 2. So you're left here with 4x squared times, and the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. I'll leave it in its exact form, because you can see here, this has got your exact form here. So you'll end up here with the 2 cancelling out with the 4 leaving you with 2 here, so you're left with 2 times root 3 times x squared. Okay? Um, I did the working up here so we could see what's going on. But basically, we have the area, that's the lateral surface area, the area of the rectangles on the side, and this is the area of the two triangles. So we can say that the surface area S, the surface area S is equal to, as you can see, we've written in this form, that's all 2 times x squared root 3. It's better to write it there so the x squared is distinct from the square root sign. Okay, plus 6xl. Okay, that's what we've got here. That's 2 times x squared root 3 plus 6xl. That is the surface area okay, of this. And part B tells us to find... Let's got space. Let me bring this... Oops. Oops. Let me bring this up. Now, part B tells us to find, um, given that S equals 960, show that V is 160x root 3 minus x cubed. So I can say now that this expression we found up here, which they already told us anyway, so another point, don't ever give up thinking that I don't know how to do part A, so I'm not going to do part B. No, that's, uh, you know, that's rather foolish of you when they've already given you the answer to part A. And you can see you're going to use it for part, part B. So don't ever think you can't do the first part of the question so you don't look at the rest of it. No, you should never think like that. So now what we can say is that the S is equal to 960. So 2 times x squared times root 3 plus 6xL is equal to 960. 
Now we want to find the volume, the expression for the volume. Now the volume is the area of the cross section times the length. So the volume would be, um, which is the area of one of these. Now we found the area of two of these. Okay, the area of two of these is two root three x squared. Right, that was the area of two of them. So the area of one of them is going to be root three x squared. So the area of one of them is root three times x squared. Or x squared root three, if you want to say. Okay, so the volume will be x squared times root three times your L, okay, which is your length. That's the volume. But you see, this volume here does not have L in it. There's no L in the volume in the expression they told us to find. Okay, so we've got to somehow get rid of the L. And in all of these questions, all these questions to do with applications of, um, you know, a dif in a differentiation, these type of questions, maximum, minimum questions, um, they're normally like this. They give you two separate quantities. Like here they gave you volume and they gave you surface area. Okay, and there's always one letter or one term that you don't want in your final expression. So here we don't want the L. So what we can do is we can express this L, okay, in terms of X. We can rearrange this so that L is the subject of this formula and then replace the L in this expression with whatever L is and then we should get the answer. So let's start off by dividing everything by 2 here to make things a bit simpler. All of these, these numbers can be divided by 2. So you're going to have X squared times root 3 plus 3XL equals a half of 960. That's going to give you a half of, uh, that's going to be 2, that's 4, remainder 1, 480. Let's just make sure that, in case we made a silly mistake, so you have 960 divided by 2, 480. Okay, so now we have to make x or l the subject of this formula. So first of all, let's get rid of this. So we have 3xl is equal to 480 minus x squared times root 3. And then L is equal to 480 minus x squared times root 3 over 3x. Okay? So we could split it up, I suppose. Or we could leave. Let's split it up because over there you have two terms, you see? So L is going to be. Now, 480 divided by 3, 3 goes into 48, I think 16 times. That's going to be 160 over x minus, and you're going to have um, the x cancelling out. So you have x on top, so you have x times um, root 3 over 3. My x times root 3 over 3. You're going to have x cancelling out. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now we can use this. The volume is equal to x squared root 3 times this expression, 160 over x minus x times root 3 over 3. And see what happens now. When I multiply these two together, um, I'll have an x cancelling out. So I'll have x times, so I'll have 160 times x times root 3. So 160 times x times root 3. That looks good so far. Minus, and you're going to have x cubed times, you're going to have root 3 squared over 3. That x looks a bit weird, doesn't it? This pen starts to lag a bit after a little while. So you've got x cubed. So you've got x squared times x, which is x cubed. Root 3 times root 3, which is root 3 squared, which is going to give us 3. I might as well just write 3 there now. Okay, root 3 times root 3 is 3. Okay. So x cubed times 3. Um, and that 3 will cancel with that 3. So you're left with the v. The volume is equal to 160 x times root 3 minus x cubed, which is as was required in the question. Okay, so there we are. We're done with part B. And I'll do the rest of the question on the next video.